Hello, my name is Dr. Vlad Krotov, and in the next five minutes, I will discuss various IT roles that CIS students assume upon graduation. CIS, or Computer Information Systems, is a very broad field. CIS majors are equipped with a variety of skills related to business, technology, data, as well as soft skills. I've noticed that this breadth of field is confusing and puzzling to some CIS students. Some senior CIS students ask me close to their graduation, so what type of jobs should I apply to? Should I apply for jobs in software development? Should I apply to jobs requiring project management skills? Or should I apply for general business positions? I understand this confusion. Being focused on something, such as coding, gives you a certain confidence and peace of mind. Now, there is also an advantage to being that broad. By being exposed to a variety of skills within the IT field, you are in a better position to find yourself, to discover your strengths and weaknesses, and to eventually find your true passion. Also, given how fast things come and go in the field of IT, being too specialized, too focused on something is a risky proposition. If you specialize in something now, then by the time you graduate, most likely this technology will vanish and you will have to learn something new. That's why there are a lot of people who view the breadth of the CIS field is not as, an, as a disadvantage, but rather than a very powerful advantage that you will get upon graduation. And also, given the breadth of this field, it's not surprising that CIS graduates assume a wide variety of roles. Some of those roles are close to, closer to the technology side, while other roles are closer to the business side. Some of the typical uh, titles or job roles that CIS students take are provided in this visualization. So I will go briefly through each of those roles, and below each role, you have a median salary estimated from various sources. The job of software developer involves writing code, so this, this role is quite unambiguous. Web developers also write code, but this job is considered a bit less technical because some of the web technologies, they're less structured uh, in comparison to traditional uh, general purpose programming languages. Here I'm talking about such markup languages as HTML, CSS. Since many CIS and MIS programs also involve coursework related to networking, data communications, and cybersecurity, some CS majors decide to become information security analysts. Those people, they look for vulnerab vulnerabilities in existing uh, IT infrastructure and also devise ways to eliminate those vulnerabilities so that informational assets of an organization could be protected. System administrators also deal with security, but they are closer to the general technical and day-to-day -day management of information and communication technology within organizations. Systems analysts, they're a bit closer to the business side. Those people, they're like interpreters. They, they sit in between business users and technical team, and they help to translate business requirements of, of, of business users into technical blueprints that the technical team members, such as software developers, database developers, then take and turn into actual IT solutions. Database administrators, they manage databases, they create, they protect, they maintain, they clean databases. This requires a good understanding of data modeling and also various database management systems and technologies. IT consultants are a bit closer to the business side, in my opinion. You know, their role is to sell uh, a particular business solution uh, that involves technology to an organization and also help uh, this organization in, in carrying out the implementation. IT managers, uh, they are more on the senior management side. They manage IT resources such as hardware, software, networking, and the most precious, the most valuable resource, which is IT labor. So those, uh, those jobs uh, require typically uh, higher order uh, cognitive skills related to communication, leadership, motivation, and things like that. IT project managers, in my opinion, are much closer to the management side rather than the technology side. They do need to understand something about the technology involved in their projects, but it's largely about managing finances, making sure everybody's on schedule, and also coordinating communication and teamwork. And then some CIS and MIS graduates, they choose to go into business solo. They have their own ideas or products that they would like to, to sell and uh, uh, create a new company around this new product or service that is driven by technology. In my opinion, those roles are largely business roles. They require a good understanding of, of the market, uh, of how to organize a business, or how to motivate people. And that's why I think IT entrepreneurs are a bit closer to the business side rather than the technology side. 
So all in all, I would say that uh, computer information systems is a very broad field and a lot of people view that breadth as, a, as an advantage. Finding yourself is an important maxim since the times of the ancient Greece. By being exposed to a variety of technologies and topics under the umbrella of information technology, you are more likely to discover your own passion within the IT field. And if you discover your own IT passion, you're more likely to succeed in comparison to you choosing something specialized, something that you eventually uh, run out of motivation to pursue.